say hey thank you so much for watching listening of course i want you to subscribe uh, why i don't know why you wouldn't subscribe we have phenomenal content <gasps> and the jokes holy buckets why would you not want the joke so why i did the banana go to the doctor <laughs> because it was not peeling well <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So I have my daughter Isabel bowling with me today. Hi, Yay. so excited to be here. Right, and Isabel, um, walk me through some of the things that are favorites in your life. Oh my goodness, where do I begin? Um, my favorite color is blue. My favorite family member is my mom, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. um, my favorite book is A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Langle. My favorite food is pho. What is pho? Not everybody knows what pho it's is. It's Vietnamese beef noodle soup. And you can make it with chicken, but I like to eat it with beef. And what do you put in your pho? That's a great question. Thank you for asking. <laughs> so they give you the bowl and then they give you all these like fixins and there's bean sprouts and jalapenos and uh, Vietnamese basil and all these cool things. But I put in, lime. yeah, lots and of lime. lime. I saw a meme and it was like me making my pho into lemonade. Lime so I put gel. like three limes in it. Mm -hmm. I put hoisin sauce, a lot of bean sprouts. I like to tear up the Thai basil and then I do either a little bit of the chili oil or a little bit of sriracha, but I don't do both because mm. you do no both. No jalapenos? No jalapenos. <gasps> Where's the vitamin C in this whole mix? I just pray really hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so fun. and then what else is a favorite? Um, my favorite sport right now is Formula One. What? Racing. What is that? Okay, so Formula One racing is this worldwide competition and it goes from February to December and there are 20 racers, there are 10 teams and there's about 30 races. And so almost every weekend, there's a race in a different city around the world and it's these really fast cars. If you've ever seen Cars 2, the, it's the Italian car. Hmm. And so there's no cover, the heads are like exposed. And so it's very dangerous, very fast, very awesome. And So it's one every weekend? Typically, yeah, they'll, it's not like every single weekend in the middle of summer, there's a summer break, but for a while, it's like one every weekend. They're, so how do they get the cars to all those places? They fly them. Serious? It's crazy, yeah. And they put them on like at, one of those airline carrier thingies? Yeah. No way. For real. And then if they get in crashes, they have to lift them up out of the like The people, track. the driver? No, no, the, oh. with a crane. No way. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. How fast do they go? Yeah, it's all in kilometers and I'm American, so I have no idea. Huh. But um, no, it's it's crazy. There's one American driver on the grid right now. He's like my age, which is crazy. But if you look at like where they go, so like the first race is in Bahrain and the next one is in the Middle East, but then the next one, it might be in Australia. So they cross all these different, wow. like- and, and if you're the driver doing all that time change, ugh, how crazy is that? that sounds awful like every to me. week you're in a different time oh, zone. Yeah, that sounds horrible. That's Wild. a lot of caffeine. I know, for real. And they're mm -hmm. all like Red Bull is one of the teams and they're all sponsored by energy drinks. And it's like, oh, I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, seriously. So is this kind of like, how long have they been doing Formula One? For a very long time. What's the movie that we like? Ford versus Ferrari. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so that's the Le Mans. That's the like three day long race. Mm -hmm. And actually some of like the Formula One drivers have done that. Really? Have raced in those teams, huh. which is pretty cool. I love that Ford versus Ferrari. Me too. And I love that, go fast. So in Formula One, is it around a track or what's it look like? Yeah, Where do so they race? There are two options. There are set tracks, but then they also do street tracks. Mm. So like in Las Vegas, for example, they'll shut down the Las Vegas Strip and they'll basically carve out a track no that the way. racers go in around. In the city? In the city. No way. So yeah. it's not like out just running a circle or whatever. There are a couple of street races and it's not a circle. Like NASCAR mm -hmm. is just like this, yeah. but Formula One is like, Mm -hmm. There's hairpin turns, which are like 180s yeah. that they have to go through. Wow. Huh. Do they wear a helmet? They do. And they actually added something called a halo. The year they added the halo, there was this accident and this one car went Ooh. over the other and the wheel hit the halo. And if the halo hadn't been there, it would have taken the head of the oh guy. Oh my clean gosh. Off. No way. Isn't that wild? That's a, a hazard. Yes. Holy buckets. I do believe in the Lord and I believe in the Lord's timing. So various cities. So they did, is Bahrain a city one? Um, yeah. Monte Carlo? 
Monaco. Yeah, Monaco. Yeah, that's the that's actually a street circuit. Mm -hmm. um, they do Singapore. Um, they do. There's one in Brazil. There's three in the United States. There's two in Italy. There's one in Spain, um, and I think the one is in Barcelona right now. But they're closing that one and they're opening one in Madrid hmm. in the next couple of years, which is pretty cool. Hmm. There's one in Australia. That's a circuit. Mm -hmm. um, Sydney, Melbourne, one of those. Brisbane. I think it's Sydney. Mm -hmm. I would have to go Any back. chicks are drivers? Actually, yes. Hmm. So they have two separate like groups. There's Formula One, mm -hmm. and then there's actually, it's called F1 Academy, and that's all females. And so hmm. it's 20 women. And this is, I think, the second year that they've had the F1 Academy. Hmm. What, what made you get interested in this? That's a great question. Um, every time people ask, I'm like, well, it's young men, fast cars, and it's around the world. <laughs> so <laughs> I feel like that's a gimme. Uh, duh. <laughs> Duh, that's funny. Yeah. So what's your, so Formula One is favorite kind of sport hobby watching. Uh, uh, Wrinkle in Time, favorite book, favorite food, pho. Mm -hmm. um, favorite sport to do. To play? Yes. <clears throat> I dance, mm -hmm. which is not really a sport, but I love to dance. Mm -hmm. And I played basketball a lot growing up. How could I not? Yeah, not fair, You're right? You're my mother. Right, not fair, not fair. I understand. I like basketball. But I always like, okay, so when you were t coaching me, you mm -hmm. would say, get in there early, get the foul, <laughs> elbow her in the ribs so that she has a bruise, get the foul early uh, so that you can push against the bruise oh later in the gosh, game. Oh my gosh, I never said that. Oh uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I plead the fifth. Okay, maybe. Anyways, <laughs> and uh, what's your favorite thing to do at home? Um, I'm a big movie watcher. I love to watch movies. Um, I like to watch TV shows too. Mm -hmm. I love to cook. Mm -hmm. um, I like my family. I think my family is pretty great. Yeah. Some days are a little sketchy. Some days, yeah. A little, a little tricky. Most and your all-time favorite movie? Um, yeah. That. Is okay. A top three. Top there three. There we go. Um, I like The Princess Bride. Uh, I like The King's Speech. My name is Inigo Montoyo. Yeah, we killed my father, prepare to die. <laughs> um, King's speech, we can't do that one because of the bleeps. Yes, lots of bleeps. <laughs> That's why I like it. No, I don't know. Um, and then I really like, there's this movie that just came out called Elemental. It's a Pixar movie hmm. and it's really cute because it's like this immigrant daughter and it plays on the whole idea of like, like there's this one line in the movie where she's talking about how her father and her mom left and they sacrificed everything, like all of their desires so that she would have a good like life. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't want to take over for her father, but she goes, how do you repay a sacrifice like that with a sacrifice of your own? So she sacrifices her own dreams. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, it's really beautiful. Um, very visually appealing. Mm -hmm. I like movies. I took film classes in college, mm -hmm. so yeah, pretty awesome. And last one, favorite Bible content and why? Old and new. Pick one. Um, in the New Testament, I really like the book of John because I feel like it's a love letter from Jesus to like individuals. I feel like the book of Luke is written for the church and for like Christians as a whole. But if you read John, it feels like Jesus is like looking into your soul and it's about you. And so all the stories in John are um, just very personalized and I feel like very relatable for the individual. Mm -hmm. And I love the woman caught in adultery. That one gets me every time. Mm -hmm. And it's like, Jesus just protected her so well and he covered her. She was very bare and exposed and he physically put his body between her and her accusers. And I just think that is a really beautiful picture of the gospel mm -hmm. and what Jesus does for us. Like we're very exposed in our sin, but he is there in between mm -hmm. who could have judged us, but. <clears throat> I like it. I yeah. like it. I like it. So question for you, what is your favorite movie and why? What's your favorite movie and why? So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And of course, we want you to hit the notification bell so that we can keep you posted on new content. Thanks so much.